Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are learning to listen, learning to listen to God, learning to listen to others, thinking about what it means to seek first to understand, then to be understood. Um, I think that's such wise counsel for all of us as we are following Jesus Christ in, with our lives. How do we listen uh, for the voice of God? And um, I want to share a passage of scripture today from uh, Kings, First Kings, and we're going to be looking at chapter 19. Um, this is the story, you'll remember the story of, <laughs> of Elijah and the prophets of Baal and then Jezebel, you know, Queen Jezebel's out to get him and he retreats and he is having a crisis of faith. You would think after doing something so great um, in that chapter uh, that he would, uh, he would just be on a high, but rather he is struggling. And um, so we are reading in uh, chapter 19 about what God has to say to him and um, his response. And so um, he's at this cave, and and so um, he spends the night there, and God, you know, God doesn't speak to him. You know, you hear these things of, you know, is it in the thunder? Is it in the wind? Is it, but still small voice of God. And so this is what God says. It says, then the word of the Lord came to him saying, what are you doing here, Elijah? He answered, I've been very zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the Israelites have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they are seeking my life to take it away. He said, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong that it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, the sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. Then there came a voice to him that said, what are you doing, Elijah? What are you doing? I love that because sometimes we think that God is going to just strike us with a, you know, an inspirational thing that happens. And we have all of these um, events that happen. And as I'm sitting here right now, the, the uh, storm clouds are rolling in. I don't know whether I'll get to do the last uh, devotion for this week out here, or I'm going to have to do it somewhere else. But again, God speaks to us in silence. God speaks to us in silence. Yeah, sometimes God speaks to us in dramatic ways, but most of the time, it's by that learning to listen that God speaks to us most powerfully. And I know in my own life, when I'm praying and I'm thinking about my life, I don't really take that time to go deeper. And in this passage of scripture, Elijah done great things for God and, and then he's fearful and, and he's run away and he's crying out to God. And God takes the time for him to sit there and finally encounter God. And then God says, what are you doing? Really? What are you doing? My spiritual director says to me all the time, you need to go deeper. Because what's here is not necessarily what is here. What's really going on, Susan? Sometimes we can't find that until we take time to be still and to listen. And then we can truly share with God what's really going on in our lives and in our hearts. This is deep work that you and I are called to. Because we really can't be effective as followers of Jesus Christ 
until we develop this art of listening. Listening to God and listening, truly listening to others. One of the things my spiritual director also says to me is, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? What are you feeling? It's that going deeper inside to truly connect with God. So when you turn off the video today, will you spend another few minutes being still and listening? I'm going to. And I pray that God's blessings as well as coming to connection with God with maybe some hard truths will lead you down that path where you will have ears to hear the sound of silence, the sound of God. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.